To add new products, you will need to access the Settings menu. And now, select Products. Here, you can locate an existing product by typing its name in the search box at the top of the screen. You can scroll through your product list. Or you can create a new product. Let's add a new product to the drinks category. First, select New Product. From here, we can assign a product name. We can also add the new product to a category. This ensures that the product will appear in the correct layout. We can see here that the category has now been assigned to the product. If the product you are adding has a barcode, you can either scan the item using a Bluetooth scanner or enter the barcode number manually. You can choose the color of the new products button. Now we can add a price to our product. We have now given the new product a name, category, button color, and value. There are many other customizations you can add to your products, such as adding tax options. Use this to set the correct VAT rate for each product. Creating a takeout price. Here we can set a different takeout price and remove tax if applicable. If you have products that are sold by weight, you can activate volume pricing. If the product you are adding has a market value, you can switch on open pricing. This will require you to manually input the price each time the product is sold. Modifiers can be added to your product, either in a simple way, which presents a window of options, or in a stepped fashion, which leads the user through as many different groups of options as you wish. Set up portion control. Portion selectors allow you to quickly modify the price of a product and reduces the amount of buttons on each layout to increase transaction speeds. Daily stock level. You can specify the amount of a product you have available to sell each day by adding a daily stock level. Once the amount has been sold, it will become unselectable within the app. Messages. You can set up a message to be displayed on screen each time the product is sold. Add loyalty options. Here you can choose how many points each product gives the customer when sold. You can also activate or deactivate your products. However, to maintain the integrity of historical reports, it is not possible to completely delete products from the app. Once you have entered the product information, you can select Save. The new product will now appear in the Active section.